Hey there, friends. It's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for coming to hang out with me for our very last plan with me for 2022. Holy crap. The new year's around the corner and we are so ready for it. I'm really excited this week as we get into things because, well, this is my last week. It's excitement, but like also sadness, but excited sadness. <laughs> Starting next week, we're going to start planning inside of our edition to bullet journal. This is what I'm kicking off 2023 with. And also a new addition to the planner setup is going to be this yearly task planner from Appointed. I did a survey recently where I asked a lot of you things you were interested in and an overwhelming amount of people said, Mark, we want to know more about how you bullet journal at work. So moving forward with our plan with me's, we're going to start focusing a little bit more on that. We'll be reflecting on the previous week. We'll be taking things with us into this upcoming week and just really planning a very different way in 2023. And I'm very excited about that. For this week, everything slowed down. So I'm just going to kind of do a real laid back and we're not going to do a twist. We're just going to do everything at once today. We're going to be creating a real quick header here each day of the week, Monday through Friday. We'll have a big open space over here for our task tasks, and then really just all of this opened up for notes, and we'll be splitting this up a little bit. I took a little trip to uh, Staples, <laughs> really just to get tape, and then I ended up with some other stuff. So uh, first thing I got was these really cool, like, noted by Post-it. I didn't know that these things existed, but now they are a part of my collection. They're little tiny Post-it notes, and we're going to be adding them up inside of here for, like, in this order. There's also some just, you know, good thoughts, things that need to happen on a certain time or just due dates and things like that and check marks to do. So I'll be adding these in every now and again, just something fun. And then right next door to Staples is Michael's. And I had to go into Michael's because when you're that close, you get something. So I got some new stamps, uh, these outline letters, which I'm really pumped up about. And we'll be using those for our Monday through Friday this week. Now, right below, you'll see some like random stick looking shapes here. We're actually going to be adding like little sprigs of evergreen trees. I just learned a real quick and easy way to do that. That, so we'll do that as a little design. And then we're going to be uh, really just using our mild liner here, just a brown one. And we'll be splitting up our page into these columns for all of our notes and tasks. And honestly, I was trying to think like, well, how do I want to lay out the rest of my page? I think we'll just kind of keep it kind of basic today. We'll just be using these two here for our lines. Of course, we have a ruler as well, but we'll use the double edge of the mild liner, this brown marker here to draw in all of our squares that we have here. And then we'll use the chiseled edge for all of our vertical lines as we're going down. And then we'll go ahead and start drawing with this. So let's go ahead and just draw in our lines before we do our stamps. We'll also add in our quick decoration here, and then we'll focus on uh, stamping and we'll focus on some extra little things as we get into it. I gotta tell you, I've had so much fun this year with these plan with me since I started doing these on Sundays, just planning up for the week. I've gotten a lot of really great response from you all. And thank you so much for checking them out and leaving comments. And, you know, I'm just really excited as we move into 2023 and trying some different things. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So now that I have all of my spaces drawn in here, let's go ahead and just do our real quick sprigs here. So this is just something that I learned recently. I was looking at some different ideas for like cards and some other stuff like that. Um, and and I just learned how to make these real quick kind of fur branches, right? So you could use these for cards, um, anything along the lines of this. And also, got to give this little pen a smell. Mm, it does. This actually smells like chocolate, like chocolate coffee. I love it. So all I did is just drew out some straight lines. And you can do the same thing for yourself with a pencil first. Or you can just go straight in with your marker if you want. It doesn't really matter. The idea here is that you're just drawing out some lines for branches. They can overlap a little bit because that'll be kind of cool to have your branches overlap a little bit as you're going. So you're just gonna draw those lines and then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw some of these diagonal lines up and out. What I love about this style or, or doing these is that depending on the size pen that you're using, these can be really thick lines these could be real thin and dainty. These tend to look a little thin and dainty, but you can make them as full as you want, as sparse as you want. I just really like the way that it looked. And I thought, you know what? We're wrapping up the end of our year here. So let's go ahead and just finish it out with a little extra fun decoration. You know, something just a little, little extra fun this year. Okay. So that's how easy that is. Like you didn't have to really do anything. Just draw some straight lines, straight lines <laughs> and some diagonals. And now you have that. What's cool is that if you want to go a little bit further with this and add in some like little berries, you totally can. 
I didn't mention these earlier, but I just got these in the mail literally uh, yesterday. <laughs> um, so these are really cool uh, glitter markers from uh, Yaisen, I think is how you say the name. I'll link these in the descriptions for you below, but they're super nice. Um, they have a lot of glitter inside of them. You shake them up, they kind of sound like a paint pen, and you'll see in just a moment how cool they look. I haven't tested these out on Archer and Olive Paper, but they also have these really cool outline markers. I'll will definitely be using these for some other things in the future, but uh, I'll link this all below. But we're not going to use these. Uh, the paper I used yesterday, the marker like went straight through the paper. And I was like, no, thank you. Um, we are going to need to test this out a little bit more. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just press these down. And as you can see, just a little little tiny bit of sparkle there, like nothing, nothing too crazy. If you're not a real sparkly kind of person, don't worry about adding in any type of little berries onto your deal, but I thought, why not? It's the holidays and it's super easy, right? There's no reason not to. All right, so that's all those pieces there. So the next thing we're gonna do is our stamps. What I loved about this pack is it has uppercase and lowercase letters and also numbers. So this is gonna be really used a lot in the future because I love it. And I did the outlines because I thought in the future too, uh, if I wanted to, I could maybe draw or paint inside of here too. So we've got some future options. Right now though, we're just going to leave it in this outline and I think it's gonna look very cool. So for this next part, you're gonna need an acrylic block. So anytime you are using any of these cling stickers like this or anything that's not on a block already, you need to have this acrylic block for it to stick to. And that way you can take it on and off if you need to. And then also you're gonna need some type of an ink pad stamp, whatever you wanna use. Any color is gonna be great. Uh, I'm just using the Versafine. I'm just a big fan of it. Y'all know that I'm a, I'm a sucker for Versafine. I think it works really nicely. Um, it gets the details of the stamps as you're working if you need to. Um, I haven't used this one before, these stamps here, so they look like they're going on a little, a little bit thicker than I thought that they were going to, but that's okay. We will work with it. Maybe I just pressed too hard. That's also very likely. Yeah, that's a little bit better. We're just going to be doing the main days of the week. I'm not gonna be tracking weekends this weekend because I'll tell you, after after this week, I'm on a little bit of a vacation from work and there'll be a perfect little time for me to like kind of recharge and get ready for 2023 in my, my new journal. I'm also excited I have some other cool videos coming up that I've been uh, working on for some time. One of them is going to be a new series. If you are a fan of like cool bullet journalists and you've always thought to yourself, I wish I could figure out how to do that for myself, then you are absolutely going to love my new series that's coming up. I cannot wait. All right. So that's going to be all that we do with these stamps for today. Let's go ahead and open up this noted by post-it. I've never seen these before but we've got some really cool little deals in this order. These are like little mini, look at that, little mini post-its. I am gonna need something to help stick down the other side though. So I am gonna use uh, this tape guy right here. I always forget which way this goes. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this up in, like right over here, line it up a little bit. This will be my priority sheet. And then I'll just stick these on my desk. These are cool. These could be used. I'll probably use them in my other planner, honestly. <laughs> like they're right there. They stick in nice and easy. Can't beat that. All right. And then the last thing that I said I was going to do was going to create some vertical lines here. So I'm going to start using the chiseled edge of this. One thing that I learned, this is probably my favorite tip of all time, is that when you are using mild liners, if you're using a ruler along with it, you know, if you have that flat edge, sometimes you'll get a smear. If your ruler has a little bit of an edge here, all you gotta do is flip it over. And what's cool is that when you lift up your ruler from here, the marker doesn't get caught onto your ruler. So you don't have any extra ink there. So when you move it over, like I just did, you don't get any ink smears. So this has been a really cool thing that I've learned actually from the community. I think uh, we called it the Pippa ruler protocol, I think. <laughs> so when I used to do my lives over on Instagram, uh, she joined us one time and we were talking about it and she was like, here's what I do. And the whole entire room was like, yeah, what? Okay. <laughs> Love that. Great idea. All right. And just because this looks weird right here, I'm just gonna 
draw just a quick line down the margin here. There we go. Everything looks nice and even now. I'm happy. Now I'm happy. We'll go ahead and erase any pencil lines that we have. We actually shouldn't have all that many today. I think I did a pretty good job and we moved pretty quickly today. Like that was insane how fast that this got created. We only used really a handful of pens. So wow, I'm, I'm surprised. I feel like other ones take us much longer to do. <laughs> Not today. So we're all set. So we have a Monday through Friday overview here. We have our note section here. I'll just use for dailies as we're going through. If you like to keep all of your stuff kind of in line per day, you can just use these lines for each one of those. You don't have to uh, continue to do anything else if you don't want to. But I do have a whole task section over here that I will keep some things out and just very specific that I'm going down my line. So we're all set to go. So this is, like I said, the last plan with me that we're doing for this year. But guess what? I have like 35 plus episodes for you to watch over the holiday if you want to get any other ideas. And of course, we'll be kicking right back in to our weeklies just in a totally different size. So if you are an A5 size person and you're like, Mark, I love your B5. I think it's great, but I can't really relate. Well, guess what? We are going to be coming in here and we have some stuff set up. We're, we're ready to go. I can't wait to start doing some more designs inside of the A5 again. And of course, start using our yearly task planner as well. I hope you had a great holiday and a good start to your new year. And I cannot wait for us to get up and running in 2023. As always, thanks so much for hanging out. Happy planning. And I will be talking to you very soon. Thank you.